And now, your first alert weather. So big changes coming in here as we go into your weekend. Uh, we will get on the other side of this cold front with dropping temperatures. But for to now, uh, for tonight and tomorrow, we're going to get rain in here for much of eastern Idaho. Rain snow mixes across the region. We're already starting to see a little bit of this wet weather getting into areas out towards Boise and the Treasure Valley with a little bit of some light snow and rain happening up towards Sun Valley at the moment and more showers tonight in northern Idaho along the Panhandle. Right now, live look in Pocatello. It's been pretty windy, especially around the Pocatello Airport. We're getting winds out of the south at 25 miles an hour with 60 degree temps. Idaho Falls right now at 43 and winds out of the north at 9 miles an hour. And we're going to be looking for more of that wind as we get through tomorrow and Thursday. And this is why cold fronts on the move stretching from Canada all the way down into central California. It's a fairly decent sized cold front. And since it's coming at us here from the west and the southwest, we are expecting to hold on to the 40s for tomorrow. That leads to more rain showers rather than snow showers and then as we get on the other side of that cold front you see that spotty cloud cover there that's cold air yeah when you see that popcorn cloud action on a satellite pic that's just a clear indication of cold conditions upstream now as we go into the viper cast i want to show you that that cold front's going to be making its way across for wednesday afternoon and then you can even see the purple and blue here on the map indicating that colder air sliding in from the west and the northwest and that's going to get us for the weekend even though we're not looking for much wet weather this weekend it's going to be cold as we uh, take a look at this map here i want to show you the winter storm alerts and you'll notice that i have one for you one winter storm warning. So it's really just for Stanley, Ketchum, Sun Valley, and that's it. Doesn't include Haley or Bellevue. No, this is going to be all throughout little parts of Blaine and western Custer County. That's where we're expecting to see the heaviest amounts of snow. For the rest of us, we will see some snow, but uh, not like central Idaho, especially up towards areas of Sun Valley. Now, the temperatures for tomorrow will still be into the 30s and 40s to start off your day. We're going to have light winds tomorrow morning, but as that cold front gets overhead, those winds steadily increase, and we're going to be dealing with winds into about 15 to 25 miles an hour, gusts around 30, and more of that wind continuing for Thursday as we get on the other side of that cold front. Here's a look at those showers tomorrow morning. We're starting to see rain creeping in across the Arco Desert and areas of the Snake River Plain and Magic Valley with some snow in our mountains. We'll see off and on rain showers across the valley here for tomorrow under cloudy conditions and the winds will pick up in the afternoon with more rain showers Wednesday around supper time with some snow again into the higher elevations. We could see the temperatures drop enough that we get into Thursday morning a little bit of snow around the Snake River Plain, but not much. So with all the wet weather that we're expecting with rain showers, we're not going to expect to see a lot of accumulation for the valleys. Play Places like the mountains will get a good snowfall there towards the Tetons and again into central Idaho. So uh, count on more of a rainy Wednesday than a snowy Wednesday, unless you're living in Ketchum and Sun Valley or if you're up in Stanley. For the rest of us, snowfall amounts will be pretty low, a couple of inches in Island Park and West Yellowstone. Highs around 49 for Preston, 46 in Lava Hot Springs, with 44 in Soda Springs, and 43 in Afton tomorrow, with 41 for the high in Jackson, 45 in Rexburg, 39 in, in Island Park. Yeah, even Island Park and Jackson for highs well above freezing. That's why uh, they will get some snow, but the accumulation looks to be more of a wet, slushy mix. 48 in Salmon, 43 in Arco, with highs in Idaho Falls at 47. 51 in Pocatello, 53 in Burley, with 43 for INL. Eight-day forecast coming at you now. Highs around 40 for Thursday in Idaho Falls. And the temperatures will fall as we head onto the other side of that cold front for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Numbers here into the mid to lower 30s as we cruise into the weekend. Overnight lows into the teens. Pocatello. 51 for the high tomorrow, down to about 43 on Thursday. Mid to upper 30s in there for Friday and Saturday with partly sunny skies and cold conditions for Saturday for at least a good half of the weekend. A few showers in through the early half of next week by Monday and Tuesday with slightly warmer numbers. Blackfoot a 42 for the high Thursday, 36 for Friday, 34 on Saturday, bringing in sunny cold conditions for our Friday and Saturday, and we'll see a little cloud cover in there for Sunday. Rexburg, a high of 39 for Thursday, mid-30s in there for Friday, and the mid to lower 30s for Saturday and Sunday. And as we go to Salmon, look for highs here at 48 for Wednesday, upper 30s on Thursday, with rainy, snowy conditions tomorrow and Thursday, but dry, sunny, cold conditions for the weekend. A little bit of wet weather in there for next week. And Jackson picking up on some wet weather here for Wednesday and Thursday, with temperatures into the upper 20s, lower 30s for the Saturday and Sunday, with mainly sunny skies on Saturday. Let's send it back over to Todd. Thanks, Michael.